Hey everybody, this is Kenny Commons here of Chilling with Kenny C right here on Chilling with Kenny C right here on TMVCafe.com bringing you entertainment to your ears. Joining me at this time is all the way from the West Coast. <laughs> she's a wrestler. She's a manager. She just kicks butt, take names, calling all the shots. I'm excited to be joined with Kara. She's with me right now. How's it going? It's going pretty good. How are you doing today? I'm good. Uh, thank you so much for, for being on the show. I'm pretty sure Las Vegas had a busy weekend. Had a busy, busy weekend. I mean, it's busy every week. But <laughs> this past weekend in particular was extra busy for obvious reasons. But um, I'm glad to have you on here. Uh, so with that being said, uh, talk a little bit about how you got started into the pro wrestling. How you got started? Um, well, I started training um a while back. Uh, I want to say probably eight years ago. Got injured. Um, transitioned. Uh, stopped training. Transitioned into uh kind of office, taking pictures, doing production. Um, graphic design. Um, started training again. Um, about three to four years ago when uh, we opened up our own training facility. Um, and then um, I've been running verses with my husband now for six years. Um, got a lot of everything going on, uh, events coming up um, for him, events for verses. So it's been a busy, been busy. Busy indeed. Um, and, you know, I like how you went through adversity early in your career. You find something else to do. And then you get back to the swing of things and you haven't looked back. So that shows definitely how passionate you are about it. And you wasn't going to let anything like that end your career like that. So seeing you get back to it. And just and now you you and your husband taking over literally, you know that's <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um, what how, how does that make you feel like you're getting back to it and you haven't looked back since? Um, I quite enjoy it. Um, I like doing the managing role a lot. Um, I really do like running verses with him. Um, we've done some really awesome things together. Um that I'm really proud of us. Uh, we started versus and kind of didn't look back. Like we took a little bit of a break during um, this last year, which was awesome. But then we started traveling a lot more, making different states, um, helping other companies with their production uh, while he wrestled. So it's been, while we were taking a break, it wasn't a break. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Um, like it feels like even when you stop, you don't stop. You know, the no. grind continues. You know, that's how it is in business. So you you just find other ways to produce. You know, you expand per se. So I've been a fan of you and your husband for the past couple of years. I've seen your pro wrestling work. Um, is it's, it's incredible stuff. Um. It's definitely, I definitely enjoy the scene out there. So there's a lot of hard work and talented people in the in the Vegas area and some other areas down there. So, um, as far as you know, we're getting to the end of winter, or at least getting close to it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> see, I live in the East Coast, in the South, so stuck in the end of winter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We. It feels like winter here is kind of going through that fever stage because it was up to 60 degrees today. And I'm like, this is winter. Y'all make it seem like it's fall or something or, or early <laughs> spring. Like, I don't know. It's the, the maybe Mother Nature needs to get that doctor visit or something, but I'm not mad. I'm just like, I'm just saying it's it's very bipolar. Let's just put it that way. Very bipolar weather. Um, so I do envy 
West Coast folks that has that 70 some degrees, 60, 70 degrees around this time of the year. And I got no, be... yes, we don't have that yet. Uh, oh, not yet? The next couple of weeks. Uh, like last week, the last couple of weeks have been very rainy. So uh, Vegas is in a valley. So all of the mountains around us have been covered with snow for like the last week. Oh, yeah. Nice. So like today was like 55, which was decent. Like you can go outside and you can do things. Yeah. But last week it was not, it was not the business. No, it's <laughs> I don't, not. <laughs> I don't do this. No, I can, I can live with some rain, but I don't, the, all the other stuff I'm not a fan of. I could, I could live with rain, you know, just put a jacket on, put a hoodie on, umbrella, you know. I like your life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it, the rain will be hard sometimes, but I'll take that over snow any day of the week, <laughs> any day of the week. So, um, so what do you and your husband have in store in the coming weeks as far as upcoming shows, upcoming events? Uh, what what y'all have um, coming up? For versus, uh, so this weekend we have Wrestle Dragon Phoenix. Um, so that's going to be really fun. Um, and then next weekend, we're back down in um, Arizona for IZW. And then March 3rd versus is doing an event at the um, Container Park, which is in downtown Las Vegas. And then March 15th, we're doing a collab event for an anime and comic expo in Phoenix. So um, a lot of the Versus staff will be going down to Phoenix and joining IZW and Wrestle Drag, and doing three days of wrestling down there on March 15th, 16th, and 17th. Um, and then we just announced uh, we are doing um, April 6th for Mania on Saturday. We are doing an event with a brewery down here uh, called Beer Zombies. So that's going to be a really fun event. Um and then we have our kind of our WrestleMania and our anniversary show of Level Up. We do three days at the Las Vegas Convention Center with the Level Up Expo. And that'll be April 26th, 27th, and 28th. So y'all y'all definitely busy, busy. Um, in Vegas, <laughs> we, Phoenix, we <laughs> put, it in, put it in that work. The Versus, shout out the Versus. I'm just going to say they're my favorite fashion in the West Coast. How about that? They're my favorite crew right now. So <laughs> they 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 doing it. And they did they also going to be at an anime convention. Now we all know anime is is different, you know, and, and I, I we've been around people that love One Piece, they love Dragon Ball Z. Uh me personally, I like them both. I'm leaning towards Sailor Moon. I ain't gonna. Okay. That's I like me some Sailor Moon. I I'm by an odd person to be watching Sailor Moon, but I do like Sailor Moon. I'm like I'm <laughs> like I I do. It's just I I like it. It gets my attention, obviously. So check out Versa at all these events. Support independent wrestling. Please yes. support um Kara, Beast, the whole Versus crew, um. They're going to kick butt. They're going to take down anyone, anybody. So you mentioned the manager thing. And yeah. I love managers. I love Bobby DeBrain. I love Paul Bear. I love that interaction that a manager gets with the crowd. You know, just multitasking. Like, like you're watching your guys handle business and then you talk smack to a fan. You know, <laughs> So I guess my question is, um, has there have you ever had a moment when a fan say something to you or anyone and they be out of line per se, like you have to set them straight? Like, has there been like any you know, any personal things between the fans and you while you at manager work? I mean, how can you disrespect this face? <laughs> You really can't. And my boys, they're super talented. So you can't disrespect them. They're the versus tag team champions currently. Yeah. So, I mean, fans really love me. I, I, I have really good assets that they like. Um, 
I often pass out candy. Like, you can't go wrong with that. I win them over. Yeah, it feels like that's going to be some haters. There's going, <laughs> going to be some haters no matter where you go. They're going to always have something slick to say. But, you know, like you said, you know, they, they go on you eventually. Like, you know, you, you, you are a wonderful person. You, <laughs> you're just doing your job. You, you know, make sure you guys get the win. You know, and if people, you know, we are, wrestling is in the winning business. Like, they, you know, they don't celebrate one-ups. You know, this ain't the Olympics. <laughs> you either win or you lose. <laughs> so, that's just and for the book. Yeah, that's... My boy, the action got this. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, so what's your uh, what's some advice that you can give to those that want to get started into wrestling? You know, trying to figure out the training school to go to, or just get that starting point. Given that you've been around wrestling for quite some time, you've been through the ups and downs. Uh, what's your advice to those that want to get started into wrestling? Um, for me personally, um, I went to a couple events that were here locally, um, talked to some of the fans, talked to some of the wrestlers, um, mm -hmm. kind of fill out, like talk to the wrestlers, see like what schools that they recommend, see which one, what names keep popping up, um, kind of out, like I, I'm, my day job is a marketing person, so I am not afraid of using Google and just seeing like what is out there, checking Twitter of like, what's the vibe of the school. Um, you always want to find somewhere that you feel safe, included and heard. So I feel like those are some of the biggest things when trying to look for a school. Um, never be afraid to speak up to uh, if something doesn't feel right, talk to your trainer, or talk to another trainer. Um, I'm, I'm big on communication when it comes to stuff like that. When we had our school, it was, if you needed to talk, you can direct message me, you can call me, you can, we can set up a meeting at the facility, whatever it needed to be. I wanted to make sure that our students and our staff are um, heard, seen, and feel comfortable with working with us and anybody that they are working with. Well said. Absolutely well said. Feels like people think they know the know everything until they realize they don't. And that's okay. You know, we we all learn something um every day. One thing I get from wrestlers and anyone in the wrestling business is that even when you feel like you've accomplished a lot, there's still so much you can learn. Um mm -hmm. so Feel free to reach out to people for help, for some mm -hmm. insight, some input, and uh, to see what what can help you elevate even further. You know what I'm saying? Instead of being caught in the in the comfort zone, like what's going to take you to get out of that comfort zone to get yourself out there um, in, in this business? It's a tough business. It takes a toll on a human's body. And I watch, and I watch it as a fan. I'm like, <laughs> how, how do these wrestlers go through this week after week, whether it's every day or or just weekends in general? How do y'all keep going through this? And you know, the pain, the suffering, the injuries. You know, just I guess I'll ask you that. Like, <laughs> what, what, <laughs> what, 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 what gets you going? What make what? gets you back up to do this even with all the pain and the injuries that that you rest and go through um so i knock on wood haven't gotten injured since i've been back um honestly it's my kids i like my kids looking up to us um they think it's super cool that we do this um they also love their wrestling uncles and aunties like <laughs> So it's just, they're my motivation to get up and go out and kind of prove them that their mom can do this. 
That's awesome. That's always a good inspiration. It's the kids, the kids, just <laughs> seeing the smile on the faces, you know, just. Man, it's amazing. Yeah. Or even, even just taking them to like other events and like seeing them get excited for running into certain wrestlers as you're exiting a facility and they're like, oh my God, that was so and so. It's just, yeah, I love it. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. It's, I feel like it is a good, it's definitely a good time to be a wrestling fan, um, especially on the independent side. Like a lot of options, a lot of choices out there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I love women wrestling. I've always have, I've always will. And as a guy watching, like I've always felt like woman not just in wrestling, but just in general. Y'all have always had to work twice as hard just to get the respect. Um, and it feels like women wrestling is being respected more. Um, and more promotions are growing all over the country. And on, on the TV screens, obviously, that representation. Mm -hmm. um, so it just feels like just I feel like it's a good time to be a wrestling fan because there's just more options for people to go. It's not just one place. I feel like if companies should just rally around it together and, and just, you know, help put out the best product as possible. I mean, it'll be a win-win for these promotions and fans alike, and even for the wrestlers too. Um, just support. It don't have to be competitive and cutthroat and whatnot. It could just be like, hey, this promotion's doing their thing, this promotion is doing this thing, and everybody could just be happy and just put on, entertain the fans, you know. Um uh, Get fans to go around and as long as your company is doing great business and putting out quality product then i don't see why a fan shouldn't support any wrestling promotion yeah yeah we will yeah that will i'm not into the tribalism thing like i want i go to numerous promotions in my area i live in kentucky so i go to ohio promotions i go to indiana promotions I go to Kentucky promotions. I just love to support in wrestling. I do. You know, it's more than what you see on TV. There's a lot of hardworking people on the indies. Mm -hmm. and, and all the people that you see on TV, at least the majority of them, they got started on the indie scene. They have to work, fight, scratch, claw their way to where they are right now. And who knows? Exactly. And who knows? You go to an independent show now, you might see someone that might end up on that TV screen. You're like, oh, I know that person. <laughs> like that you, you could be like, you discovered that person per se. So, and you give a, an investment in, holy cow, I saw John Smith on the show in Oklahoma, and now he's here on AEW or Ring of Honor or yeah. any of the, the TV shows that we get to see as a fan. Um, I think it's a special time, especially like getting to see them start from the beginning and like make it to the big time. Those TV spots are awesome. I'm proud of my friends that have made it out there and have contracts and are competing in all of the promotions right now. It's just super heartwarming and I'm very proud of them. Yeah, you, the more the merrier. Um mm -hmm. That's that's there's a lot of wrestling on TV now than it was 20, 25 years ago. So exactly. it's just it just shows you how far wrestling has come as a TV product. And you we got wrestlers that's building and growing on the indies. So, you know, it's it's an awesome time. I wanna thank you, Kara, for for joining me on the show. Uh before I let you go. Um, where can people find you on social media? Um, I'm most active on my um, Kirby Carabara account. Um, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram on those. 
Um, or you can uh, hit me up. I also run our Versus pages, so Versus Pro Studios. Um, so you can contact me there as well. Thank you so much for being on the show tonight. It was great chatting with you. Um, Thank you for much having res me. Much respect to Versus Crew and uh, to everybody that's in the West Coast doing their thing, always building and and just working. So um, you enjoy the rest of your, well, technically afternoon into evening. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy the rest of your weekend as well. Uh, thank you for your time. Thank you so much, Kenny. Have a great night. Oh, right, you too. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. All right.